Yeah. Okay, so um, if if I'm gonna ask you about cultural appropriation, there's a couple like let's have the ground rules first. Said, Is I'm cultural appropriation good or bad? <laughs> we gonna talk about this cultural appropriation. Is it good or bad? Say that again. Is it good or bad? It's bad. Okay. See, see the thing is, <laughs> see that's where you're wrong. <laughs> that's that's the gray area though, because cultural appropriation isn't necessarily bad. It's just something that is. It happens all the time. Like, like gentrification, right? Like so, gentrification. But just because something happens all the time, that doesn't mean that it's not bad. But it doesn't mean it is bad either. That's what I'm saying. Right. Like you use chopsticks, you eat I Asian food. I do not. Okay, not most chopsticks. people who enjoy sure. Asian food have know how to use exactly. It, it, is that it, bad? It, yes. Okay, it's not bad. <laughs> yes. and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm stick to my Here, I, it's not bad. <laughs> but here's bad. and let me tell you why. Because yeah. when we talk about like the way that culture like is disseminated, especially in the United States where there's a lot of different cultures, um, and we talk about the ways in which different cultures are oppressed and different communities are oppressed, there is no way for one culture to like get to the the uh the level of social status that they need to without sharing part of their culture without uh, some of the culture you know spilling over to the next i think it's you ba- know? i think cultural appro- cultural appropriation <laughs> is bad when you take it and try to say you made it right i so can like, agree with that like if you go to the internet right now and type in dreadlocks you will see all, from the top like at the beginning all white people wearing dreadlocks. Yeah. If you go to the internet and type in hip hop, at the top, you're going to see Eminem and all white people. Then you'll start getting into seeing black people. Yeah. So I feel like when when you take something and try to make... And like It's like me going over to japan and mm-hmm. wearing what they wear and come back here and be like hey i started this you're right you know what i'm saying like that cultural appropriation and then taking it and saying no this is mine mm-hmm. like i started this right worship me for starting right. this you know whatever right. then there's an issue it's like when <clears throat> white when um uh, white people started wearing uh uh what do you call them Cornrows, right? And they were calling them boxer braids, <laughs> right? And they was like, "Oh, we've been doing this for a long time." See? Yeah. So that's why I feel like that that becomes an issue because it's like, man, no, like, like, say that. Tell us where you got this from. Like, don't just take this and run with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, um, I think that that may be more of a responsibility of the media than it is any individual. Like. You, uh, I feel like, like if I feel like not enough people understand like social, like social tourism and like the ways in which uh, minority cultures work in this society, like or any society. Like, if we're talking about like the the proliferation of like black success Mm -hmm. in America over the course of history, that can't happen without the support of white people without sharing our culture without yeah. that that stuff happening and it's not to say that anybody should take it and say that it's theirs which is would be like you know that happens on like jazz and all that rock and roll and all that stuff like that but um I, it's not possible for us to reach where we need to socially if we don't if we don't share anything and I'm it's okay it's Good okay talk, girl. no but listen there is Googles. no <laughs> Need some what? Well, but there is, Googles. but but I'm saying like it's it's just not possible for us to like to reach the place that we need to be socially as like a diverse group without us like without something being transferred from one to the other. Like it's not going to happen. I, okay. So wait, can it. I jump in really quick? It. Just yeah. because. So via Google, what you're explaining, Jonathan, you're talking more about like a cultural exchange, which is a mm-hmm. well because. Cultural appropriation is synonymous with cultural misappropriation. Misappropriation is taking someone's culture and not giving them credit as you're defining it. But there is a concept that's also called a culture exchange yeah. where a cult, like a minority culture isn't being marginalized for the benefit of like colonialism. Right, basically. but here's the here's the deal about cultural exchange. Cultural exchange does not happen on a regular basis because 
exchanging cultures like most cultural experience happen on one side like you're going to a mexican restaurant you're going to japan you're going to this thing to learn about that culture you don't exchange you're it's a one-sided learning experience and so cultural exchange does happen often it happens in a lot of cases but since most of our cultural experiences are one-sided we have to be okay with like it's important for us to understand that okay we're gonna go learn about this we're gonna enjoy this part of their culture and then come back and like teach other people about it that's like the whole like there's an umbrella called like cultural tourism and that includes culture exchange it includes like um it includes like uh tourism and you know going different places it includes like uh what else? Learning different languages and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't think that's honestly, exchange. No, it, you what? are honest. You are talking about cultural exchange. Let me. No, I'm not. It's under. It's under cultural tourism. But go, go so, on. well, it's under but, cultural tourism, but yeah. it's it's cultural exchange because you're saying you're saying I'm going to Japan. I'm learning something. I'm coming back and I'm teaching people about it because I yeah. learned it in Japan. Right. You're not saying I'm going to Japan. I'm coming back and I'm teaching people about it as if I knew that this is something that I made up. But you that's know what I'm but that's but that's the thing. But I think one of one of the things that people don't get about like the way that we that the way that we learn culture is that it's the the idea that it's one sided most of the time. We're not. It's not like when I go to Japan, they're not learning about me really. I'm not sharing part of my culture. I'm, they're sharing it with me. And then when I come back, I share it with other people around me. And that kind of builds like this cultural competency. But the issue so is you're not taking it as if I'm not, I'm not own, saying that is your own, though. That's all I'm saying. But I'm you're just saying no, it's not cultural saying what exchange. You, right. I'm saying you're okay, right. Cultural tourism, I agree I with you. But I'm saying that I think the issue is a little bit more deeper than like whether cultural appropriation is wrong or right. Because I feel like, because when we talk about like the success of even women, right? But or if, if any any kind of my, minority, they can't be successful unless they teach us about them. Because I don't understand women's issues; they have to explain it to me. Yeah, and I'm all for teaching others, sharing, but that's right? not cultural. That's not what cultural appropriation is defined as. No, like, I'm not saying it is. Well, Wait, I'm can so we confused. can we speak very specifically then? Let's talk about the box braids, the the cornrows. Right. When, when, it, when it hit the magazines as the newest trend. Right. How do you explain that? That is cultural appropriation. Okay. Right. And you I think, think that's, that's bad. Okay. I think that's bad. Okay. I agree I, with okay. you. Wait. Right. <laughs> I agree Time with out. you. I said cultural appropriation is always wrong. And you right. said, no, it's not. It's oh. not always wrong. Okay. Wait, so okay, let's so because if you explain what is right, cultural appropriation is okay. Yeah, let's get this defined. Yeah. The definition of cultural appropriation is never okay. Right. No, <laughs> see this. Is the, see that's the thing. Anytime, so if we're defining it as any time that somebody from a different culture has a part of somebody else's culture and they're not yes. from that culture, because that is that's the cultural appropriation. No, that's no, no, the no. same as me going uh, putting some uh, some uh, tribal art in my house. That's the same as me going no, to... No, no, it's not. Not, it's not. Not, not if somebody comes up to you and they're like, oh, explain this piece to me and you can then eloquently state the culture... It's still cultural behind. appropriation. It's like, it's like a person going to a... It's like a person going to a... To a <laughs> hang out with Native Americans and coming back and making a dream catcher and yeah. saying, oh, I had a dream and this I just made this. This is my thing. No. Like, get all the credit see, for it. Right, and it, get all the credit for it. That's cultural appropriation. It's All of it is cultural appropriation. Anytime you have something that no. is not from your culture, that's still part of cultural appropriation. I don't think no. so. It really is because the same thing you're talking about. <laughs> I don't. The exact same thing you're talking about. People have like, because you know, I've been watching this like the media stuff when it was like really big a couple years ago. Like they would like, they would somebody will post something or uh, some white people will post something with something they got from a trip and then like all these comments will come up about she be being culture appropriated when she probably just went there learned about the culture and brought something back you know and we kind of view it from the outside you can't tell cultural appropriation appropriation from the outside if it's good or bad so she went and she got something and she put it in her house because it meant something from so her experience this is why maybe most of the time when we see something on the internet or whatever, most of the time it from from slavery, we feel like, man, like white people took this from us. Like you took something from us and never gave anybody credit for it. So most of the time when we see white people going to other countries and they come back and you don't give credit where credit is due, 
we automatically assume are you like it not even assume it's like man i want to hope that you're not doing this but based off of a long line of you doing this more than likely this is where you know what i'm saying like we feel some type of way about right, it. Right, but that's... Now, if, we, if that's, I see a white person come back and say, man, I got texting or or tweeting, I got this whatever from wherever, and this is what I learned about it, then cool, we have no issue with it. But right, but that's not the responsibility of every individual to then go out and tell everybody they know, like, oh, you saw this thing, I, I have to explain to you what it is now. I, I'm not saying... But that, like, but that's just, more of a mentality, because listen, the same thing that you're saying that we do for white people Africans say the same thing about black Americans they think that we steal their culture and they call okay, it cultural appropriation and they would be right As, but but this but it's not if, wrong if, if, if it's it, yes it is if bro. you're doing if it I'm, to con- bro, connect with so your so his, his, with your Af- African heritage here's the thing. and if, learning no no that's like, everybody's not Nigerian. Like, go ahead. Just because, like, I go, like, everybody's not Nigerian. Everybody's not Cameroonian. Every, like, right? you can't. Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Yeah, there we go. Thank yeah. you. Everybody's not Ghanaian. And so it's just like, me as a, like, excuse you. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I lost my thought. No. Oh, I'm so no. mad. I'm so she mad. She was hanging on to the curtain <laughs> coat telling us. Go. Everybody's not Everybody Nigerian. Everybody's not, Everybody not Cameroonian. Yeah, Everybody said, not. Oh, I'm so Go upset. On. I'm so upset. What was your? Say your point again. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> Go for it. I'm so mad. No, I was saying but, that. Okay, no, yeah. you were saying how like we as African Americans will do things to connect with like the a, like a culture within Africa, and it's just like, but just because like I'm black. And I'm then going to like Kenya and adopting something and bringing it back. Like I, I can't, I can not still claim that as my own just because I'm black. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm Kenyan. I do know. Like I'm like 22% this I'm 11% that I'm 6% this. That doesn't mean that I can go over to those respective countries and be like, Oh, this it's not yours. But here's the thing as black people, we don't know where we came from. This is true. So, so every other person that comes to the United States, they know where they came from. So they well, like most of the time they pull from where they came from and say, this is who I am. <laughs> Black people. We can't say that. We can't say, oh, I come from Nigeria. I come from Ghana. I come from wherever in Africa. It's just like, oh, I know I'm part this part. Th-. Like. Native American, every black person, especially in the 90s, oh, I got Indian in my blood. Like, everybody used to say that. But, like, we don't know what (laughs) tribe we are a part of. So, with all of that, it's like, where do we pull from? I know I'm black, and more than likely, I came from Africa. I can't tell you anything outside of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. I don't necessarily feel like that's a full cultural appropriation as if somebody it still is cultural appropriation i i get you i understand which that. is why it's not always bad that's what i'm saying it, but anytime for, uh, you take something that's not yours it's appropriated okay, let me ask you this is it cultural no. appropriation <laughs> anytime you take it it's is not it cultural yours. appropriation for a white person to run around and say my nigga yes that's just ignorant right <laughs> so for me i'm like black folks that's us. That's our thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, black people came from, for the most part, came from Africa. We know that. Mm-hmm. That's where we. That's where we originate. Yeah. For a white person to go and take something from an African American or African or Asian or wherever, like for them to take that and then use it as their own or say that this is their own i feel like that's a slap in the face cultural appropriation for a black person to go to africa and say i want to learn something about my culture i don't know where i come from because you kept these books away from me for so long you kept all of this stuff away from me for so long hell i don't know where i came from i want to go and learn about it, I can't learn about all of the countries unless I go and do uh, uh, what's the the little the little swab test thing ancestry ancestry dot com. Everybody ain't doing that. Everybody can't do that. But I don't feel like going to Africa for a black person going to Africa learning about 
wherever they go in Africa and coming back and saying, man, I want to wear a dashiki. I want to wear this kente cloth. I want to wear whatever it is because I've learned something, something, finally, something about who I am and where I came from. I don't feel like that's a slap in the face, cultural appropriation. Um, African people might feel some type of way about it, but if you explain this situation and explain where you're coming from and saying I'm proud of who I am, I don't see an issue with that. Well, see, that's not appropriation though. Like that, it is, from though. that perspective. It is. Af is, ask an African. From that perspective, I don't view it as appropriation because you're ex like you have a knowledge and an understanding behind right. the things that you're wearing. That's not appro appropriate. Like, and I completely agree with yeah. everything that you just said. But appropriation is meant for like the advancement of colonialism. Like, basically, and who was colon who was colonizing everything? Mm -hmm. Maybe I maybe I'm using this as maybe uh, maybe I'm playing devil advocate, devil's advocate. But you know that's but my point is like cultural appropriation. You know, the more I've learned about it, because I, 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 I have a minor in sociology, so I've, you know, I study this stuff. But well, she, she just and I know some stuff. So I know she googled it on Wikipedia. Google's Google's got uh some cred, you know, but uh someplace shape. Um, but I, but the thing is, like, the reason why that's important to me like understanding cultural appropriation and like all its like aspects is because Africans really do feel strongly. Some of them feel really strongly about African-Americans, you know, coming in with, you know, wearing kente cloths and, you know, dashikis and stuff because they, they're not from that culture. We're not, we have our right. own culture as Americans, you know, as black Americans and, you know, and it, and it, and it goes all around. So I feel like, you know, I think that each case needs to be taken Individually, I think it's a little bit more uh, complex than you know. Just talking about we, me claiming it as my own when it's not. I think it's more uh, understanding that, like you know, this is from outside of where I'm from, right? And yeah. and getting get just getting a full understanding, appreciation of that because I, I don't think it's always bad because sometimes it leads to more understanding, like you said, you know. And so that's that. that I mean, that's just you know how I feel about it now. I just want to say that this is by far one of my favorite episodes of this show. Um, great conversation. Um, we could talk about this all day. We can. We could talk about this all day, obviously. So more on cultural appropriation. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, how do y'all feel about Bruno Mars and Cardi B dropping a new single? So it's <laughs> obviously a, a dedication. I mean, they said it. People were on in there. Where is this from? If she don't know where this is from, she's too young, fam. <laughs> so like, she didn't. Too much. Like, wait, <laughs> wait, what? Where is what from? Cardi B didn't know where that. No, 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 no. Folks, yeah, folks, you know those memes. Folks, you know those memes. I was about yeah. to say, folks, no. what? How old is you she? know, so at the she's got to be like twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. Um, so um, it's obviously a dedication to in living in living color. Yep. Um, I don't know why they just decided to to um. To salute in living color. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. But um, Bruno Mars, who's a Filipino, Puerto Rican, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool dude. Is this cool? Is is what he? What is he doing right now? I mean, we're loving it. Everybody's like, everybody's loving it. He's Latino. What's the problem? I don't get it. Oh, he's Filipino. He's Filipino. He's Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, and Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't she Puerto Rican? Who, Jello? No, 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 no. Cardi. Uh, Cardi B. Uh, she's Dominican and she's, Puerto Rican. Yeah. Okay. All right, thoughts on it. <laughs> oh, I was I, just looking at it from a music perspective. Go on. I mean, one, I love the song. We're talking about so. the video. Are we talking about the video? Oh, no, yeah. just Bruno also. I feel like a lot of people try to say that Bruno culturally appropriates, like, funk and soul music. And I don't, I personally don't think he does. I'm starting to see in a, like a parallel between the offensive right. appropriation with ignorance and things yeah. that are not welcome. Yeah, Bruno is welcome. Yeah, he can come right. to the cookout. Right, nobody right. is gonna kick him. Cardi out. can come to the she cookout. Can come to the cookout. But if you there was are a time when be, Justin Timberlake could have come to the cookout. Justin it's, Timberlake it's, still can it's, come it's, to. It's, wait, he said some stuff. What did he say? He said something around like the all lives matter. Oh, he had he had uh, boxer braids. 
at some point. Oh lord, he did. Remember that? Oh, Here's my 90s. thing about Bruno Mars. He stole JC JC Chazes whole whole style, man. He's from Insync. From Insync. If y'all know anything, Bruno stole JC, JC Chazes style. I'm a big Insync fan, I, and I I know JC Chazes when I hear. Him. That he probably right for him, but he, man, he got to the way he does, the way he sounds, the way he does his runs and stuff. I'm like, you have studied JC Chazé just like I have, but you do it way better <laughs> on a huge scale. So because Keela has already let you know that I'm not important. So no. here's here's my th- <laughs> <laughs> so here's my thing about that. Aside from the cultural appropriation, I feel like. As doing music, I feel like managers, publicists probably said, this is going to be the star. He's going to be a star. Justin, you're going to be a star. They marketed them both. They marketed them as both the lead singers. They were. It was. If you hear that first album, it, it's JC's. It's JC's um uh group for right. sure. You hear that so, second album, it's like. Eh. You hear that third album, it's like okay, right. Y'all know where y'all bread is buttered. <laughs> so I feel. I just feel like I don't know this, but I just feel like, especially in music, like if somebody says this person is gonna be a star. The rest of y'all, I don't know what you're going to do. If JC was smart, he's like, I'm writing for you. I've written everything else we did, so I'm just going to write for you. You're going to sound just like me. <laughs> Period. It works. Just uh, not on uh, me. Um, Pooh Bear writes for Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Mm-hmm. Um, and Justin Bieber does exactly what Pooh Bear does. Are you looking up who wrote who wrote this? No? Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, what? You're uh, obviously not doing right. it. Sorry. Right. <laughs> so I, I, I don't think I don't think he I don't think it would be bad if he sounds like JC. Now It's not bad because JC don't get the credit he deserves. Most writers don't get the credit they deserve. I mean, no, but he was a singer on Insync. I know, but and I just I didn't want this to be a up. topic. I didn't want this to be a topic. Okay. But anyway, let's go back. Let's go back to Cardi now. Cardi B and Let's go back to Cardi now. Yeah, I just do hey, I feel JC, like if you watching this if you listen to this podcast, come on up, man. You're right. He really loves <laughs> I don't I don't I, do. I don't I don't beef with and somebody might have to explain it to me better, <laughs> but I don't fully beef with what they did in the video. When it comes to music, who's who's beefing? A lot of people. Y'all said a lot of people don't like the video. And really? Cultural I, appropriation. I don't know if I said that. No, I'm saying. No, like, I think it was, we were talking about cultural appropriation from the standpoint of like the type of music that Bruno produces. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I just feel yeah. like music is music. I don't. Well, I don't consider it cultural appropriation because Bruno has stated like. He has said like this American is not music is black music. Yeah. <laughs> like he said that so he times. said like he acknowledged This is not cultural appropriation. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so he said it y'all. It's yeah. not that. Well, like no, Bruno, it's because like he's acknowledging like I know what y'all think. I know what y'all think. His I know what y'all think. Keep on stop talking. I'm gonna turn your mic off in a second. Keep on. going to pull the cord out. <laughs> Literally. This but I feel like because like Bruno will readily admit and like give credit to the fact that like this right. is where he's pulling his music he's from. like man he's i'm a fan of james brown i'm a fan <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> no he's he's definitely but said I'm, I'm a fan of james brown i'm a fan of like all of these people like i'm sure ed sharon is a fan of james brown absolutely i'm sure um we know that um, Adele is a fan of Beyonce. Yes. So that don't I don't care. So I mean, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. I just feel like if you're going to take something, please let it be known where you got it from. That's my Truth. like. Okay. So Michael Jackson. If we watch all of Michael Jackson's moves, and we see. The movie that came out right before Michael Jackson did his stuff, I forgot old dude's name, but Michael Jackson took all of his moves. 
his whole career was based off of this man's moves in that movie. Nobody ever knew where what that came from. What movie is this? Well, I right. forgot. I right. forgot that up. Breaking? Can we fact oh. check? Can we fact check? <laughs> yes. Real quick. Yes. Breaking? Hold on. I will look it up and show you. But you know who does that also? Right. Beyonce, Beyonce does, does that a lot too. She Say steals again? a lot of uh, music. She gets a, inspired from a lot of different places, quote unquote. He put, he put inspired in air quotes. Yeah, quote unquote. She gets inspired from a lot of places. She goes to Europe and Africa, Asia. But some some might argue that um, artistry is um, what's the word? What is it? What's the um? There's a quote where it's basically saying like um, it's fluid. Like no, like um, creating is is mimicking stuff. Like you know what I mean? It's just it's um. I forget the word, man. Not mimicking, but it's like you copying off of stuff. All of it. I don't. Jared is showing. Jared, describe to <laughs> yeah. us what is happening What's right now, please. What's the name of the video so the people in can this look podcast? It up. What's the name of the movie? In this Hold audio on. Oh, podcast. <laughs> the, please. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, um, Bob Fosse. Um, <laughs> this. But, Bob Fosse is a, I mean, he was in some movie. I forgot the name of the movie. I can't find it. I'm looking for it. But Bob Fosse um, dropped this movie a long time ago. And he's dancing to some girl. I mean, dancing for some girl. He's trying to seduce her. He acts like a snake and does all these hissing noises and stuff like that. And the way he's moving, um, like Michael Jackson started. Took and stole all of the moves. Well, we're, we're gonna play it, and as you don't turn, yeah. you got the lock on. No, -uh. okay. It's gonna flip it up. Okay. So we're watching it, and he's got like this this they top hat, the neck thing. Okay, he's hold doing on. The neck thing. He's kicking his foot out with the high with, with the high water pants on. I mean, hold yeah. on. Wait, we gonna see all of the moves. Hold on, first, let me go back. Is this a black man? Watch, no, it's a white guy. Okay. He just looks very tan. Okay. Somebody, <laughs> watch this. Right. And hit and hit. Oh wow! Oh, that's a Michael Jackson move, is it not? Yeah, it is. Is sure. this man in blackface? No, he no. Better not is he just no really tan? Mm -mm. Yeah, he's in the desert. He's in it's Phoenix, hot. Arizona. That must be makeup. Okay. Um. So I have a question. Can you culturally misappropriate white people? Can you culturally Look. misappropriate? Yes. Look at the shoes. What do you mean? Look at the socks. What? Look at the got it. flood and oh. pants, but everything. Okay, it's that feeling those or cultural appropriation, though? I, feel like I mean, I'm not saying it's cultural. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, so why? I think Bob Fosse is a dancer. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I, I think in the in the when we talk about cultural appropriation, I'm just gonna have to be devil's advocate because I just like because there's too many like caveats to a lot of what we talk about. But I do feel like black people need to not give away the culture, though. I feel like we give away the culture a lot of times, especially like we talk about like where, like who's doing this in what place, and like, um, like the like how uh, rap and hip hop has like proliferated to like other countries, like all these major uh, rappers, they get most of their sales from white people Here's and the touring in white places, and so you don't expect them to like take part of that into you know listening to it all the time and you know dressing like these rappers that you know are in their you know that they go, uh, uh, see in concert all the time i feel like white people you know do we give away the culture because they don't have a culture like and i'm maybe the only person who believes this but i don't feel like white people have culture and so they look for it everywhere else yeah. and my thing is just like i don't feel it's my responsibility or our responsibility as like people of color to like sh safeguard our magic like we create dope stuff yeah. white people recognize that is dope and they like that's not like Come i don't feel like it's on us to like stronghold and like protect and guard and like not share yeah the beautiful things that we create and we produce and that we deserve credit and honor for just because a white just because sally may and bobby joe want to come over here and like and steal Shane. it away and then try to profit off of it and package it as if it's theirs that's where i have an issue i don't think it should be on people of color to like hide or tuck away the things that they're capable of because people don't know how to act i, I want to say something real quick before we go on any further um to any um any of our white listeners <laughs> 
I just, Sorry. I mean, no, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I, I was thinking about this over, over the, over my break. There's no such thing. Adults don't get breaks, but like over, right. my, over, <laughs> over the break, cry. over the right, <laughs> over the break. I was thinking like, man, like I, it's not it's as I don't think any of us in here hate white people. No. Okay, so. When we're really, talking, and, we, and, and so I know that, I, yeah, yeah, Jared, Jared is married to to a lovely white woman. I love you, baby. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so I, I wanted, I want that to be known. We're not bashing white people. We just, and um, we appreciate y'all. I mean, uh, the ones that we know, <laughs> the ones, the ones that we know, the ones that I know that are listening. Love y'all. We love right. y'all very we much. But we're not about right. to apologize for anything <laughs> that, that we're saying when it comes to this. Yeah. And I don't think y'all would want us to. I think partially the reason why you guys are listening is to understand. But here's one thing about understanding: don't just understand and be like, "Oh, I understand." I feel better because I understand Share this with your white counterparts Share this other stuff Share this thought process as well yeah. That's all I'll say about that We don't hate y'all Love y'all The ones that we know We love them. And I, I can only speak for myself When I say I love all people in general Yeah Go ahead Go ahead Jonathan um, I agree with what you said Absolutely um, But I still Even still I do think that we Because it's not even just in America We uh, like Rap, hip hop, billion dollar industry. There is no way that they're getting all that money from just Black America or just America itself. Right. They're going to other countries. They're going to Australia. That's where what's the name There's from? A, who? Iggy. Oh, oh yeah. Iggy. That's where she's from. She probably learned from some some rapper that went over there and started tour, yep. and then it you know you it know. Started off as a Iggy artist, Azalea, which is a wild She did. She did. She was full on. Really, really she did. great lately. <laughs> <laughs> and so she has been looking my. T fine. <laughs> no one says she was. I'm just saying. We're not. That is. I'm just saying. She has been looking pretty incredible. <laughs> that Please is. Unplug that is. Aiky Keith though. Fight. You can't unplug. <laughs> this is my show. <laughs> this as is much true. as y'all disrespect me. <laughs> go, go ahead. But like, but like, yeah. So like, is there's no way? I I feel like we do give away part of the culture when we do stuff like that and like how we present it to other cultures you know and we like want them to do it and then even like when i watch a lot of social media like on youtube and like maybe vines or when that was a thing and um and like facebook i don't like sometimes i don't like the way that black people talk to like white people and people of other cultures because they talk to them use the n-word with them and you know talk to them like they're another black person and that's like kind of giving them permission to like take part of the culture and like uh, speak it back with them and communicate in the same way. Yeah, you know, and I feel like that—that's an issue for me. I don't, uh, I don't like that. I do uh, see where you're going, uh, but I think I it's don't know. because we haven't had like I feel like black people are just now start not even just black people like people of color are just now starting to like build the structures and like the foundations to help us safeguard. But I feel like that, like not being able to speak the way I want to speak to a person, and them knowing not to like understanding not taking this and right. using it back with me like well, that some takes people my freedom. encourage them to like i've seen videos Heck of nah. people encourage yeah. their, little, their white friends or their whatever friends yeah, like uh-huh. to you, talk you can like say them. it you can say nah. it to me yeah. i'm like yeah, i'm nah. not with that i'm not rolling because because so, you gave him permission to say it to you you he doesn't see it as just you giving him permission to say it to right. you. He feels as though you're giving him permission to say it to other black people as right. well. And it's like, nope, you keep I mean, that over there with your friends. So, it, it be the it be the black people that be like, it be the uh, black white boys with the Yu Gi Oh cards that be like flat ironing their hair and stuff. <laughs> The it's Yu-Gi-Oh not just them. It's not just them. No, so it's not just them. I went to Earth. So yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Nope. I, yeah. First day, first day, first day at the art institute. I walked in. I'm like, you know, you be like the cool dude, right. like the pseudo cool dude. You walk in there, like it's like it's the twilight zone. <laughs> all the cool kids in art school is playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, no. and like all the whack people just on the outskirts, like, dang, they, they playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I don't get down with that. Right. You just look for somebody with a fitted on. Like, hey, right. what's, uh, <laughs> hey, what's popping? <laughs> <laughs> what's popping? <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! No, okay, let's let's eat lunch. You goofy. <laughs> Shoot. So go ahead. 
secret. Right, so, yeah. so back to the conversation. We have to move on. No, we don't. Yeah, let's move on. Logan uh, Paul. This is still culture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Logan Paul. Can we not stay on him for very long? Because I don't really like him. He's actually well, that's all the more reason to talk See, about See, but he's like one of those people when he was on Vine. I'm really enjoying this episode. When he was on Vine, he would collaborate with a lot of, of these other Vine, black Viners. I want to stay here forever. And they would talk to each other the exact same way and they would kind of encourage each other to like, because I, I, he was one of those those uh, those boys who used to collaborate a lot. And that's what I didn't like when I saw him like, um, I, I can't remember the other, the, the black guy's name, but. It was one. It was or there was a couple people, but they would collab and they would kind of encourage this this guy to to talk like them. You yeah, know? I don't like that. I don't, I don't and like I feel that. like though <clears throat> black people who do that are problematic. Yeah. Yes. If you are a black person who does that, stop it. It's not helping anybody. You're messing it up <laughs> for right. all. It's like please stop. Yeah. It's not cute. I know your mama raised you better. Right. And so that definitely is an example of like. And I think that it's like just as much as I was saying, like we as people of color, like don't need to like guard or like keep away the things that we create. I do think as most things are, it's double sided. It's just like we also need to like have pro- like have a sense of pride in the things that we're creating to not just egg on. <sighs> I'm over it. So so I, I do. <laughs> I do feel she got like, exhausted. Mid explanation. Right. <laughs> I do feel like. <laughs> I do feel like we should not give, um, no answer. <laughs> like give the per- give a person the okay to take something, but I don't feel like I need to take my own freedom from speaking or acting the way I want to act or doing the things that I want to do within my culture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like. Yeah, if I want to, if I want to sit down and have a conversation with a white guy and two black guys, and I'm like, yeah, my nigga said, I don't feel like I should have to go. Oh yeah, my guy said, like, no, you should understand that, like, this is this is not okay for you to do. <laughs> number one, and we're gonna make sure that you know. <laughs> like, if you even try, if the N I comes out, I'm listen, I'll slap. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, I feel some. There are times when I'll do that, but not because, not because I don't want them to say it. Yeah, they should already know that they shouldn't say it. But I know, um, it's just out of respect for right. them because I know some white people they don't say it, and like when they hear it, they like shudder. Yeah. Like I see, I see, I'm on like the when I used to be on the train or whatever public transportation. I you see like just black people just being black people not caring who is around and that's fine but then they'll use certain language and like you'll see like white people get like really uncomfortable but that's my whole thing i don't like people being uncomfortable around me but i get i get it, it i i understand not wanting somebody to be uncomfortable right, right, yeah, i'm not i'm not saying i'm but for I feel like against those are the white people who like understand also not to right say yeah, it. I mean, like, so it's like it's like <laughs> i don't know it's it, there's just something like yeah, I'm I'm real big, especially like Keith, you know, I'm real big right now, especially on like my freedom to be who I am. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you're not going to take my freedom again. From me. Again, you know what I'm saying? Again. <laughs> not like, again. Right. Period. Right. Like, I mean, there's there's freedom. Biblically, there's freedom. Mm. And there's also just like just a freedom, period. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like you're going to take that from me and say, oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Well, hell, the 400 years that we was in slavery was uncomfortable as hell, too. No, that's what, <laughs> you know what I'm that, saying? And that's what I was saying earlier, like maybe like five minutes earlier about not apologizing for the things that we're saying. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, want to let y'all know, we love y'all, care about y'all, but we're not about to apologize for being ourselves and like having these feelings and having these thoughts. You yeah. know what I mean? Because they're real. I, I don't think that that was a criticism of that. I think it's more, like I said, some people encourage. Thank you, Atlanta. That kind of behavior. Peace. All right, Jared. All right, Bye, Jared. Right. Y'all keep talking. Hey, send me that, um, send wow. me that thing, man. Personal information. It's not. It's send me that thing is personal information. It is not podcast related. Okay. <laughs> Go it ahead. What are we talking <laughs> about? <laughs> okay. Keep it off. This is a fluid podcast. Anyways. That was a good conversation. Um. Oh, I was about to say something. 
Um, well, I also feel like kind of like okay, so like the Logan Paul and like the black kid that he used to do the Vine collaborations with. Yeah, I also feel, like as much as like I don't, I too am not going to apologize for existing and just like I'm black, deal with it. Mm-hmm. I also feel like there's an issue with that because like Logan Paul's ignorant. And like <laughs> you know he's ignorant. Indeed. Why are you engaged? Like, as a black person, yes, be black. But also, when you see a white person acting crazy, I need you to check them. Like, yeah. and I think that a lot of the times is like how I don't even know how. What? No, I don't know. But I feel like in situations like that, like you do have to check people. Like I check my white friends when they say stuff. Yeah, That's absolutely. Like, yeah, sat, and I'm like, mm, absolutely. Let's not. Absolutely, do that. it's important. You That's have important. to. I remember being in a. I went to like a, a math and science camp, and uh, it was like over overnight camp, and I was staying there with. Um, and then there happened to be another black kid from Detroit there, and we were you know we would chop it up, talk you know, and a bunch of other white kids and stuff, and eventually like they would you know they liked us, they thought we were cool, or whatever, <laughs> and our pants had holes in them or whatever, and that was like that was the cool thing or whatever, but. I noticed that when like sometimes we would you know we would yeah the longer we got there the more of our mannerisms they would like pick up on and like one time the kid was like running around with like something I think they had, like a bandana on or something he was like is this cool is this cool and I was like no just, no, you look just dumb. be yourself Take it off. I told him I was like be yourself you know yeah, I feel like that's important 